Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. What I'm going to talk about is how do you mount a front mount crane on a phonograph? Well, I'm going to show you on my personal Triumph, which has a signet horn, but I'm going to go through the steps. When you order one, the reproductions, you get the base bar, the other bar that comes out here, you get this cabinet clip, you get this clip here for the foot, you get four little screws, probably an S piece here, and a short little piece of chain, which is usually too short. So let me start off. This clip fits underneath the cabinet. So first you're going to have to take out the crank. And this clip fits in here like that. We're going to just leave that there for now. So what you have to do is you have to look at the foot and the foot is going to fit a little bit to the side of the carriage. So when you're doing this if the carriage is here and the horn is coming this way, you don't want the horn hitting the rod because you can just turn this. So roughly, you're going to put it like right here. So you'll move the clip over. And that's how it fits. And then this rod comes in. Now what happens is this rod is sticking up too high when you look at it. So if you have, we have a big horn, like a 12 panel Edison, but if you have a smaller horn, you might have to bend this to bring it down a little. And you have to start thinking dimensionally when you're doing this. So you go, okay, I have this rod in with a foot preset up. Here's the carriage. It come, it, the carriage stops here, so I should be good when it plays. And then I can just turn this in a little for everything. Because the big secret here is, I'm using this horn as a demo. You don't want the carriage coming here and then banging in to the carriage rod here. You want, you know, the horn's going to sit and it's going to float just like this. So if I was doing this for a customer, yeah, I'd have to bend this down a little. You're going to have to put this thing in a vise to bend it because they're like 5 sixteenths or thicker steel. After you figure out where it's going to go in the foot, you're going to mount this piece underneath here. Where the foot goes. So you figure out where the foot goes. Because this mounts on the bottom and this slides in like that. And it stops right here on the cabinet. If you have felts like I have, this, this won't work because you're going to need the rubber feet, which jacks the phonograph up, usually. So, after you do all that, you're going to screw this into place. I would pre-drill a small hole, and then drill, and then screw the wood screws in. So you'll do this, and that'll hold everything in place. Now, after you have the clip in, you stick the foot in, and the cabinet should sit down and the foot should hit the, the bottom of wherever you're sitting. So if you're sitting this on a table or a bench like this, when, the cap, when this slides in, this front of this clip here should be hitting whatever it's sitting on. Resting on the table? Resting on the table. If it doesn't, you can check to see the originals were made out of brass but these are like cast steel and you can't bend them down. 
So what I usually do is find a felt like these feet for phonographs, and you can punch a little one out. Or they sell these little feet, because originally there was a piece of rubber stuck in here. And then you can just add the felt to it and then stack them a little, because once you set it in place, it's just going to sit there. This is what kind of chain you get. And this is a short chunk of original Edison chain. And you can see the difference in this. This is a lot better made. But you can go to a hardware store and you can get this chain, which looks a lot better than this piece because you're going to need more chain than this. If you look at the previous video on the home and I'm adjusting the horn and the chain has to be vertically, you don't use a little piece. I'm using a piece of chain like this to get the horn visually where I want it and where it floats on the machine. It looks a little complicated, but it's not. Once you're done with hooking all this up and you're ready to do the chain, the rod that sticks out usually comes with an S piece like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick this on. Whoopsie, Brett. You're going to stick this on the slot that comes here. Some of them are drilled out. And then you'll take a pair of pliers and you will pinch this. And then you want to pinch this one just enough so that the chain can fit in and out. And if you've bought a horn, because all horns that are suspended have this little plate here where this keychain ring fits. And these are steel and they're kind of hard to work. So I use, I use brass ones because the brass bends a little easier. And if you've redone your horn, you don't want to mar the horn. So then you can put the brass one in easier. And it's a little smaller and lighter also. But this is what you have to do to mount the crane in the front. And then once you get the horn on, you got to have the float. You got this carriage has got to be moving like this very smoothly. You don't want it, especially on front mount horns, if it's pushing back, it's going to raise the carriage up. It'll play like this, but it won't be touching the rail. The carriage will not be touching the rail. These are designed for the carriage that sits like this. This is a vertical carriage. This is designed for a signet horn. So you have to do this. And the hard part of the whole thing is getting a reproducer to float with the horn. And there's no drag from the horn pushing on the carriage. I hope you like this video, and that's my tip for the day.